Okay, let me show you another configuration here. And what I'm using right now is a single lead input again into a transformer, which was really meant for 120 step down to 12 volts. This side here is the 12 volt side that I'm feeding. This leads open. This is the 125 volt side. One leads going into the L3, uh, which goes into the AV plug, feeding the style array. I have a clip lead off here to add some capacity to it. And we are again using sine wave. My multiplier in this case is 100. My dial is 0.6, we're at 60 hertz. And I'm pulling the earth ground off of the coupling to that uh, metal dial. In other words, I'm not using this ground connection off of the floating output. I'm going into this L3, which in turn is feeding this little configuration, which I've shown in, the, in a number of my last videos which is tuned to 92 megahertz. And you can see I have a red light on that. You can look at these coils more closely and see that they are indeed small coils, so they obviously have to be 92 megahertz. Now this is SRF, spatial resonant frequency, not self-resonant frequency. And of course there's your AV plug. And again on offsetting capacity. Now we see these 12 LEDs and operating at 60 hertz. Let me show you why there's a lot of failure in people who try to replicate this. Let me just put this down here and separate these coils slightly. Look what happened. You can see this lead right here is practically out. All of these have dimmed. And so as I push them together, we get maximum intensity right about here, okay? But if I push them closer, look at what's happening. We're getting some pulsation in there. This lead's totally out. And if I open them up again, get them at the right distance, they work. So we're talking about millimeters, actual down to a millimeter difference and possibly a half millimeter difference in order for these to be replicated. So don't, please, don't grab just any old thing out of your, your work box and throw it on a bench and claim that you can't replicate it. If you're not going to do it properly, don't waste your time and don't waste my time. This will work. It'll work at 60 hertz. You don't need the exciter but you've got to do it correctly.